What are floaters? Well, the vitreous jelly in the back of the eye is about 99% water and 1% little collagen fibrils and some globular proteins. And those structures early in life are very clear. As we get older, and it's not really an aging degeneration, I like to tell my patients, a lot of them say, well, is this because I'm getting old? I said, no, it's really an issue that of exposure to time. There's a subtle difference there. Nonetheless, uh, with time, these proteins start to clump together. And eventually, in 80% of us, the jelly peels away from the retina, from the back of the eye, and collapses in on itself and makes all these little clumps of gel. The light coming in the eye strikes that gel, it scatters the light, which casts a shadow on your retina in the back of the eye, which we then perceive as little black spots, bugs, worms, and th those are the floaters. Most floaters are benign, although annoying. Um, and some patients complain quite bitterly about their floaters. But most of them are benign. What we worry most about floaters and flashing lights is it can be associated with a retinal tear or retinal detachment. So anytime anybody has a new onset of a shower of floaters or flashing lights, it's imperative that they get in and get a good full dilated eye exam to check the retina to make sure that the retina is secure. Once, the retina, once you've figured out that the retina is secure and not going to detach, then it's an issue of how do we deal with this annoyance?